on the bottom of the uh, screen. I don't know. Hello. Can I help you guys or something? Um, yeah. Are you guys closed right now? Yeah. Is it okay if we take a look inside? I don't work here. This is Humane Society. Oh, who are you? I work for Tuolumne County Animal Control. Oh, what are you doing over here? I was seeing what you were videotaping looking at our trucks and stuff like that. Oh. Is there anything I can help you with? No, no. No? Huh. All right. Yeah, they're closed already. Okay. I think they closed at 3. Thank you. What was your name? My name is Mike. Mike. Yeah, I was looking under the truck. All right, guys, we're going to go back and check the storage place out. I don't even know what city we're in. Do you? Excuse me? I didn't hear you what? Um... Why are you guys worried? No. We have break-ins down here and we don't like it. Sorry about that, what? We got break-ins down here, so we don't like it. Oh. People broke in here before? Yes. So I'm taking your pictures. I also called the sheriff. <gasps> no, I don't do that. I did do that. Oh my goodness. Do you have anywhere we can hide a storage or something? Uh, yeah, funny. You're dismissed. Get out of here. Bye. But anyways, I was recording the hills, but you guys think I was recording your guys' place. Why would I record your guys' place? What does your guys' place have any interest of me? I don't know. You've been around the whole area. You Recording the gas over by the gas company. I saw you. Oh, are you guys doing something illegal here? No. Are you sure? Here. I just him. I'm gonna call him too. Good. Something seems a little suspicious here, ma'am. Yeah, it does. You guys in uh huh. It's a free country. Now I want to record it. What's your name? I just wanted a storage. Please don't record me. It looks like the sheriffs have arrived. Hi there. Hello. I'm Corporal Lockhart with the Sheriff's Office. We got some phone calls because you guys were walking around and filming stuff and it was making people nervous. Oh my goodness, that's a big crime right there, man. Uh, it's not really a crime, hey. <laughs> No, we're good. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> no problem. Um, just there's just been so much theft and stuff like that, oh. especially with storage buildings and stuff that people get nervous when they have people walking around videotaping and filming stuff because mm. they don't know if it's somebody that's just a tourist or somebody that's just checking out the area or if it's somebody that's preparing to commit a crime. So. Let's see. Let's see. Can I ask what you guys are doing? 
Uh, we're gonna respectfully not answer. Okay. Where are you guys from? I'd rather not answer. Okay. Well, I do need to see you guys' IDs. Why? Well, because right now I'm investigating potential criminal activity. And Is there a guys crime? Uh, there could potentially be. It's suspicious. No, you have to have a crime in order to ID somebody. Okay, so I don't actually. What, you, what well, we're then. having is a, a lawful interaction because you're engaged in activity that is suspicious. So it's, I'm trying to figure out what's going on and I need to know who you are. Is suspicious a misdemeanor or a felony? Uh, suspicious is, is enough for me to have reasonable suspicion to investigate what's going on. No, is so, that a misdemeanor or a felony though? It's, there's no crime at all. It's, there's no crime at all. I'm trying to discover what's going on, okay. which is why we're having this conversation. Just real quick though, you have to, uh, in order to ask someone for their ID, you need to have, you have to know if there's a crime. According to National Constitution Center, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects, against unreasonable searches and seizures, shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched, and the persons or things. Okay, so I'm not going to debate the subject with you. I've already told you. You're not, you're not interested in, in acknowledging what I'm saying. That's fine. I do need to know who you are, or you need to leave immediately. For what? Well, right now, you're trespassing. <laughs> On what? This is public property. No, it's actually not. It's a base what, glass. What's it's your there. name? My name's Corporal Lockhart. The lady that Corporal. I just talked to, yeah. Uh huh. It's the lady I just talked to is under this business. They don't want people here. We're not on her business. Okay. So you guys right now, here. you're on her business. Okay. So you guys need to leave here. This is this is, this road here is public, sir. Why though? Because you're engaged in behavior that causes me to believe something is is underway that's not normal behavior for the public. <laughs> Do you... People don't generally do what you're doing right now. Oh, okay. the First Amendment, you mean? Yes. According to National Constitution Center, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So what, like I said, unless you have some sort of purpose to be here that you can tell me about, we I need do. to believe. What is that? I'm doing a story. Okay, which is what you didn't tell me that when I asked you what you guys are doing. I actually don't have to if I'm not breaking the law. You, you do when I'm trying to ask you what, what's going on and why. No, no, no. Because Real... the people that live here and work here and own these businesses are concerned about your behavior. This is why I'm here, okay. officer. Real quick. Okay. Uh, Lockhart. Lockhart. We do First Amendment audits, man. Okay. We, we know the law. Perfect. Uh, you know what 148 subsection G is? I, I do. The fact that a person takes a photograph or makes an audio or video recording of a public officer or peace officer, while the officer is in a public place or the person taking the photograph or making the recording is in a place he or she has the right to be, does not constitute, in and of itself, a violation of. Actually. Okay, well we have the right to record you. We're out here in public, which is okay, there's nothing wrong with it. There's, I'm not on nobody's property. I'm not, I'm not committing a crime just because they're, they don't like what we're doing doesn't mean we have to leave. Okay. So if you're familiar, That's like being a bully if you're, right if there. If you're familiar with the law, then you're yeah. aware that there's case law that states that your suspicious activity in a high crime area allows me to talk to That's you my fault? You. That's my fault because there's a high crime here? Yes. It, it, it's, let me rephrase it. It's, it's not your fault. It's, there's a high crime area, uh -huh. and you're engaged in behavior that is suspicious, which is what allows me to identify you. What I'm if doing you don't right... want to, hold on. If ahead. you don't want to be identified, that's fine. I'm not detaining you for my investigation, but I am telling you you need to leave the area. That's because I have a Fourth Amendment. So your options are to provide me with your identification or to leave the what? area. Those are your options. Would you arrest us if we don't leave? I, I'm going to get my supervisor here to do yeah, it. Can, can you call your supervisor? I already have. Okay, thank you. Okay. So like I said, I need you guys to leave the area or provide me with your identification. The public the public street? Yes. You have no lawful purpose here that you've expressed to me. I just told you. Your story doesn't doesn't allow you to continue to be in this area when I've told you that, that the behavior that we've observed from other people that have committed crimes allows me to detain you if I want to, and I don't. <laughs> I don't want to detain you because you don't want to be detained. <laughs> I would rather you just leave no, man, so that I, I can get on to other calls. You know what, man? 
We're gonna go ahead and leave because I already know that you're a tyrant and you've been taught the law wrong. Okay. All right. I this that. is you're public. So where where where's uh out of here? Where where's out of here? Like where where can we go that's public since this ain't public? Well, you you can leave this area. Wherever you choose to go is fine with me. I just need you to leave this area. <laughs> You're gonna be hearing from us, man. Okay. We're gonna I be back. Y'all have a wonderful Let's day. Let's go so that he won't arrest us. Cause this guy doesn't even know his job. Over oh, real quick, can you recite your oath to me? What's that? Can you recite your oath to me? You guys need to leave. That's what I thought. Okay. Have a nice day. <laughs> Tyrant. Their feelings shouldn't trump my rights, man. You're here to protect my, my rights. Have to do with no, that. their feelings. Okay. You're here to protect my rights. Was is, is record I'm my here First to Amendment. The same. Exactly. You, if I was right on the now, property, you know you would have arrested you guys, me. You guys are You're dirty, man. Have a nice day. You need to learn your job. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna get educated. Watch, man. Have a nice day, sir. Fucking tyrant. Hero. There you go, little crybaby. You thought I was gonna get arrested? You thought wrong. Take the next left to stay on. It's okay, I already got everything. <laughs> and I'll tell you guys, this one pissed me off. I hate being threatened by an officer that don't know the law. And I'm just going to walk away from this one, you guys. I don't want to be arrested. I'm not here to be arrested. I am here to educate and let people know their rights. The ones that want to unsubscribe because we end up walking away or stuff like that, it, that's fine, man. You know, like... We're not here to be arrested. We're here to educate the people and let them know their rights. This cop is dirty. I'll post the number and you guys give them a call and let them know what you guys feel. And after you guys make that phone call, go ahead and leave your comment and let everybody know how your guys' phone call went. Remember, people are reading your comments and your voices mean something, you guys. Your voices are heard.